If you've been considering installing rooftop solar panels, you might have some unanswered questions about the process, like how much solar do I need or what is the cost of installation? Finding answers can be difficult and confusing. To answer this question in detail, we'll break down the calculation process step by step. Keep in mind that the number of solar panels needed can vary based on factors such as your location, energy consumption patterns, roof size, local weather conditions, and the efficiency of the solar panels themselves. However, we'll provide a general framework that you can adapt to your specific situation. There are three main factors to consider in making the solar panel calculation, your annual electricity usage, the solar panel wattage, and the sun peak hour. It's essential to determine your average energy consumption. This information is typically found on your electricity bills and is measured in kilowatt hours. Understanding how much energy your household uses on a monthly or yearly basis is the starting point for sizing your solar panel system. Your bill should show your usage for 30 days, and you can use this to get a sense of your daily electricity consumption. Just take the total usage during the period and divide it by the number of days. According to the U.S. Energy Information Administration, the average U.S. household in 2021 used 10,632 kilowatt hours of electricity per year. That's equal to 886 kilowatt hour per month or 30 kilowatt hour per day. A big factor in determining how many solar panels you need to power your home is the amount of sunlight you get, known as peak sun hours. A peak sun hour is when the sun's intensity is an average of 1,000 watts of photovoltaic power per square meter. In the US, the average peak sun hours range from over 5.75 hours per day. Whereas in the India, the average peak sun hours range from 3 to 5 hours per day. The rated wattage specified by the panel manufacturer can give you an idea of how much electricity you can expect to generate. This is called power rating and it's measured in watts. Solar panel power ratings range from 250 to 450 watt. If you have limited roof space, you may consider a higher power rating to use less panels. If you want to spend less per panel, you may consider a lower wattage. Now that we have our three variables, we can calculate how many solar panels it takes to power a house. Assume daily electricity consumption is 30 kilowatt hour, which equal to 30,000 watt hours, taking average peak sun hours 4.5 hours per day and average panel wattage as 400 W. So the total number of panel is calculate by dividing daily electrical consumption by peak sun hour and average panel wattage, which comes to 16.66 panel. If we round up, it takes 17 solar panels to power the average household and meet the goal of 100% electricity offset. When considering installing solar panels for your home, several key factors should be taken into account to ensure a successful and efficient solar energy system. If you have a small or unusually shaped roof, solar panel size and numbers are important considerations. With a large usable roof area, perhaps you can sacrifice some efficiency and buy larger panels to get to your target energy output. Typical residential solar panel dimensions today are about 65 inches by 39 inches, with some variation among manufacturers. The climate in your region has a major impact on how many hours of sunlight and energy your solar panels produce. Plus, you'll need more solar panels in areas that lack consistent and bright sunlight. Assess the suitability of your roof for solar panel installation. Factors such as roof orientation, angle, shading from trees or buildings, and available space influence the efficiency and output of solar panels. A home without a complicated roof structure, pitched at a 10-degree angle and south-facing is best for solar panels. 
By considering these factors comprehensively, you can make informed decisions and ensure the successful integration of solar panels into your home, leading to energy savings, environmental benefits, and increased energy independence.